So we weren't like a really rich family. Since I'm like 13, I'm working. Her situation just make her stronger. It was really hard stuff, but breaking that was the only thing that was that kept me going, you know. I practice <laughs> six or seven days <laughs> in a week. When she goes to practice and she wants to get some kind of move or anything, she's just doing it as long as just she just get it. I'm bigger Paulina from Breaknuts Crew. I come from Poland and I live in Wrocław. I started breaking in uh, 2004. I was always a really good student, so I was always like the best in the class. So I was playing football, <laughs> like soccer when I was younger. Od początku była żywiołowa bardzo. I was like the, the more male hobbies. And then I found breaking, you know, so it was it was something that, you know, just just get my like attention. I know Paulina for about 15 years. We met for the first time at the practice spot where we practice all the time, actually. In my city in Wrocław, one time I was like out with my friends and I saw some guys like dancing outside, you know, they had a little floor. But, you know, it was funny because it wasn't really breaking. It was like a mix of like electro or like we call it boogie stars. <laughs> There was really no teacher, you know, like uh, nobody has the knowledge. So I, I just watched some footage, which like everyone has, you know, they were like some VHS tapes, which were coming from, I don't even know from where, you know, one person just had it and it was going like, you know, to, to other cities even and, and wherever. In 2006, Alien S came with the workshop. There was like a big, big camp for three days. We just came there and that was the first time that I knew that, oh, this is Indian step, this is six step, oh, this is knee drop, you know? But before we didn't knew anything. I was always lying to, to my parents to my, um, at my home <laughs> that I go to sleep at, at my friend's house or I go for a birthday. <laughs> and I was just traveling like really 12 hours in the train and nobody fucking noticed. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really have like super uh, easy life because we, we, we weren't like a really rich family. Since I'm like 13 and I want to have uh, some, some kind of money, I'm working. <laughs> Mainly, and the main purpose it was like to earn some, some money to, to be able to travel to some jams and to some events or, or to just, you know, buy something for myself also for a dance. Also with my family there was, you know, not always easy, <laughs> uh, mostly because of my mom. Uh, she she had like a lot of uh, struggles and addictions. She was addicted since I was like uh, three years old. And when I was 15, uh, they took us to my grandma and she became our foster family. My father was living with us, but I feel, feel like at some point it just overwhelmed him, like the, the whole situation. So he also got into like drinking. I at this moment I don't know that I had very many problems with alcohol. And it was with me already very bad. You can say that it was a critical state. It was crazy because my father started to drink to the point that they said two weeks more and he will die. You know? No, opamiętałem się, stwierdziłem, że mam dla kogo żyć i co, co ty chłopie robisz w ogóle I, i, i udało się wybrnąć z tego i w ogóle córa mnie cały czas wspiera, myślę, że ja, ona na mnie również może liczyć i jakoś się dogadujemy. So that was the moment that I was like, yo, I don't wanna lose you, you know, we just get your shit together and, and you will do it. For me, it was just painful to see him exhausting himself, you know, uh, but he never did anything bad to me and he was always uh, supporting me and he was always loving me. But yeah, at some point I couldn't just look, you know, how he's like imagining himself. So 
I decided that I will just take care of the whole family and I asked him to just go and do the therapy, like three months, close one. And you know, the most important for me is just uh, finish with success because my father is not drinking seven years now and I am super proud of him. I think that the, her situation just make her stronger in everything. It's just a proof that it's not an excuse to have a hard situation, you know, that you cannot do something because if you want something, you're gonna get it, no matter what. And I think I, I just heard the, the biggest compliment in my life from him because he said I saved his life. You know, he's always supporting every of my decision and I can always go with any problem to him. I feel he's really proud of me, even if he's not like going really to events or like watching my battles and to see me. And I think like most memorable was when I won Outbreak. I just call him and I'm like, yo, I won. And there was so many girls from all over the world and wherever. And I, he doesn't speak, you know, he was just crying. Przeżyłem chyba tak samo jak i ona. Byłem wtedy nad morzem w pracy i no płakałem jak był ze szczęścia. That's, that's the moment I, I just remember. I remember exactly where I was in Bańska and how it felt and I was like, you know, I just hang up and I was crying by myself because it was so, so crazy. She is very stubborn in what she does. So like when she goes to practice and she wants to get something, some kind of move or anything, she just doing it as long as just she just get it. I think I would give up half of the way. <laughs> I practice <laughs> six or seven days <laughs> in a week. I have also another job uh, as a flight attendant, so I think I was looking for a job that will give me possibility to be really active still, you know? And working as a flight attendant, it gives me a lot of free time, you know? So even if I fly somewhere and I stay there like three days or whatever, I just practice at the gym in the hotel because most of the time there is a, a space. I always take my speaker, I always take my practice clothes and I practice there. So I don't miss practice, you know. If I have flight like I go and I go back, I practice in the morning like before flight or after flight, you know. If there is a really long flight, I just schedule it as a rest day. So for now on it's okay. But yeah, I also teach at two places, so sometimes it gets really busy. Breaking shape my character for sure, because um, it teach me how to don't give up. <laughs> That's the first thing. It teach me uh, how to stay strong and how to be humble and how to just, you know, work on yourself. And I think uh, determination as well. Yeah, this is this is hard dance, <laughs> so I feel like you have to be really patient with the results. But yeah, it's it's the culture and the whole thing around the the breaking. It's so beautiful that it's worth to just keep going. <laughs>